All right, what's up guys? Now, um, I tried shooting this video a couple times and for some reason my computer did not allow me to do this. <laughs> so uh, I've been meaning to put out this video on YouTube and I know right now we're in a crazy time, right? If you hit the pause button right now and you check the date, all right? Today's Monday, uh, I believe it's March 16th, 2020. And this is a really crazy time that we're in. All right, the coronavirus is spreading here in the US. The economy is going nuts. Uh, people are freaking out. Uh, and I wanted to come on here over the next as many days as I need to and provide support and provide confidence and really step up here on YouTube and not shy away. You know, I want to really uh, lead you through this opportunity that we have coming up. And what I want to do, though, is like I, I want to be as upfront and honest as possible. Um, over the weekend, I was like, man, like this stuff is just nuts. And I started to think really negative. I started to think, man, like what's going to happen? Like, how is this going to affect everyone's business? Um, like right now we, we have 85 coaches that are part of our mastermind from eight different countries. So I know in every country in the world, like we're all going to feel what's happening right now with this virus that's spreading. Um, whether you think that or not, like, I mean, that's my opinion. I think that's going to happen. I mean, in the U S we're already seeing that. If you look at how, it's what uh, if you look at what is happening with restaurants, like restaurants are going to get pummeled. Um, they already are right now, um, and as they start to shut things down here in the U.S., like there's going to be a steady decline in business, right? So what I wanted to do though is, you know, after the weekend, I was like, you know what, like I need to step up, and I need to help those who are on YouTube who are not part of our mastermind and also our mastermind members. I, I, I want you guys to watch this video and know that there's really two ways you can handle what's going on right now, right? And I'm going to go through this piece by piece. This might be a really long video, but I will tell you this is going to be the most important video I ever put out on YouTube. And I say that with confidence because this is going to really test a lot of people mentally, right? Even those who have great uh, tactics with their business, this is going to really mentally test a lot of people out there. And I want you to go through this video piece by piece. And I promise you, if you text me over the next year and you say, hey, you know, I'm going through a problem with my business right now, or this is happening, I'm going to send you back to this video because I know that this situation sucks. There's nothing I can do about it. I can't go stop the virus. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> um, I'm a business owner. And there's two ways I can think about it, though. I can either like, create during this time or I can complain. And I know, you know, over the weekend when I was sitting down, I was moping around a little bit. And I started to, to check myself and I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm doing what normal people are doing right now. I'm complaining and I'm thinking of excuses. So I had to quickly get outside, get out of that, that mindset and think, you know what? I need to step up here. That this is my responsibility as a business owner. And as someone who has been helping a lot of coaches worldwide, um, who've gotten great results in our mastermind, I know right now this is, this is on me to step up and help you. So wherever you're watching in the world, just know that everyone's going to feel what, what's happening with this virus. Um, everyone has to go through it. It's not, like, it's not like I'm living on a mountain and I don't have to deal with anything or I have zero responsibility. I have the same level of responsibility as you do, right? I got to wake up the same, way as, like, the same way you do. I have problems the same way you do. Okay, but with that being said, I want to clearly break down the two type of people 
the two types of business owners that are going to thrive during this time and those who are going to die. And when I mean die, I mean like your business is going to be dead in a couple months from now. Right? And I don't say that to scare you. I say it because I know it's going to happen. I've, I, I know it because I know how fragile some people are. When they run into a problem, they, they turtle up. They get afraid. They get scared. And then someone like me who sees the opportunity is going to come in and take all their clients. Right? And trust me, there's someone like me in every city. Uh, most cities around the U.S. right now, coaches that are part of our mastermind, if they're in your city, I, I would be terrified if I was you because they're going to come swallow up all your clients. All right? That's if we all have this mindset that I'm going to talk about here in a second. Okay? Now, if you look at what's going on, right, there's not going to be really any gray area. This is black or white. Okay? And I will say 99% of human beings are going to do what I'm about to show you. All right? 99% of people complain during this time. And what happens is when, when you start complaining, you blame the situation. So you start blaming other people. And when you do that, you're automatically negative. And when you're negative, it's impossible to succeed because you're worried, you're freaking out, you're in panic mode, you don't know what's going to happen, and you spend all of your time thinking about the possible future, right? And you think all of your time about, you know, just being negative. While someone else could be thinking positive during that entire time where you're negative, right? Now, this is going to sound very blunt, but I don't care. This is my YouTube channel. I can say whatever I want, right? If you're stuck in old business methods, like if you're getting cash, check. If parents are paying you on Venmo, uh, if you have not followed what we've talked about, on YouTube, where I've said, hey, go get Sam Cart. Hey, run your billing recurrent. Hey, have a six to 12 month com uh, commitment. If you have not followed my advice on that, your business is absolutely effed, right? You are effed and you can spell that out, All right? Your business is screwed. If you are not, if you have not set your business up that way, expect the next couple of months to really suck, All right? Because here's why. Right now, they're shutting things down in the U.S., right? I can't say what's happening uh, across the whole world. I'm focusing on what's happening here, right? But what's happening here is they're shutting things down, which is going to make it very difficult to have face-to-face -face interaction. So if you get cash, checks, Venmo, stuff like that, um, expect that all of your clients are not going to pay you because they're not going to see you. And if they can't see you, they can't pay you. And... This is why I, I can count at minimum a hundred times, a hundred videos on YouTube where I've talked about don't get stuck in old business methods. Like do things where it's seamless, do it where it's easy. Like have a higher, have clients who are, who are more committed. When that happens, right? When you run into a problem like what we're facing right now, it's not really gonna make that much of a difference, all right? Now, with that being said, business owners who start complaining, what they do is they, they think, all right, well, you know, this sucks, but I'm still going to spend money on stuff that I want to spend money on. Like, they're going to try to go eat out. They're going to try to go uh, buy stuff online. They're going to try to go, just, they're just irresponsible with their money. And if you're not on a budget, like, I know part of our mastermind program, it, it shows, like, hey, like, this is how you keep track of your money. Like, this is what you need to do. This is how you keep track of your taxes. This is what you do. And coaches who are prepared for that sort of stuff, like, this, this time is not meant to start spending more money. Like, that's, that's the dumbest thing you could do in this situation. We want you to save money. And I'll talk about it here in a second. All right? And then, lastly, what complainers are doing is they think very short-term. They think, oh, man, this... This sucks really bad right now. It's never going to get better. And, you know, I, I think I might need to go get another job. But the problem is, where are you going to work? All right, I want you to think. Like, 
if you can come up with a list of 10 places that you could go work at and you email it to me, I'll give you $1,000. Like, who, who's going to hire you during this time? Everyone's shutting down. Like, so that should not be an option for you. And if you're going to that option, that's telling me that you're already planning on quitting. All right. And this is why I wanted to create this video on YouTube because most people who run into obstacles, they automatically fold. And then the 1% of, uh, of business owners who write it out, they, they write it out, they stick with it, and they end up thriving. Right? And let me just give you a good example. I, I want you to think about, let's take the company Amazon. Right? Let's, let's look at Amazon for a second. When Jeff Bezos started his company, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go look it up. But when he started out, like it was him. He was in a little office. And I want you to think about how much adversity he's faced over the past 20 to 30 years, however long they've been in business, right? I can guarantee you right now that like, he's probably not enjoying what's happening right now, <laughs> but he's already been through so much adversity to where like this is not really going to make that big of a difference. Like financially it might, but they're going to come back stronger. They're going to write it out. You're not going to see Jeff Bezos quit, right? You're not going to see me quit. I've been through a lot of adversity too. I've already shared what those things are on this channel. If you haven't seen them, go watch older videos, right? You can see it there, okay? But if you think short term, you're out. But the problem with that is most people who start a business think short term. So what's going to happen is like the... The coaching slash personal training industry was going like this. It was trending up over the last, I would say the last four years, it's been trending up. Right now what's gonna happen is it's going to quickly hit a plateau and it's going to start to dip because all of those who start, who are short-term thinkers, all of those who are reliant on CoachUp, every coach on CoachUp is screwed right now. I'm, I'm just giving you, that this is the reality, all right? Every coach who, is getting cash and checks. All of those coaches who are doing things the old way, the way I've, I've preached on here day and night over the last four and a half years about not to do, all right, about what not to do and, and about what to do. Like, I'm telling you, like, this is going to be a really tough time. But if you think short term, all right, you're going to get short term results and you're going to get out. And that's why you're going to be riding the trend down while those who are still in right now, they're, when, when things start to normalize, uh, and I can't say when that's going to be, but when that happens, they're going to take advantage of whatever's happening right now. And they're going to make that a huge opportunity, right? Now, that is what the creators are going to do, right? They, they stick it out long term. Now, we've already covered what the complainers do, okay? If that's you, I'm telling you, you're going to have to change your mindset. There's nothing else I can tell you other than you got to change how you think. And you got to look at this as an opportunity and not an obstacle, right? And before I talk about the creators, I'm going to say one last thing. I see so many people on Twitter over the weekend. They're like, oh, if we have to stay inside over the next week or over the next month, I'm just going to watch a lot of TV. I'm going to watch a lot of um, movies. I'm going to catch up on, on movies I haven't seen. Dude, what a waste of life. If that's you right now, you're gonna lose. If that's how you're gonna be spending your time, you're gonna lose, all right? I promise you that that's, that's just not gonna work. You need to be productive with your mind. Like, because I, I, let's go back to the Jeff Bezos example. You think he's gonna be at Netflix right now? Like, oh, I can't wait to watch One Tree Hill. No, he's not. He, he's in create mode, and that's why I wanna create this video, all right? now. Let me show you what I'm doing and what I would say most coaches in our mastermind, hopefully everyone is, has this mindset. And I will say like most people on the planet don't have what I'm about to say. All right. And I mean that because, because I talk to coaches all day long. Like I talk to coaches all day long. I know what happened over the weekend. Coaches have sent me messages freaking out about what's happening, about what to do, about you know how to handle this. Um, 
And, you know, a lot of people are panicking right now. And they should be if they are not ready. Right? They should be. Okay? But those who create, what they do is they take self-responsibility. That's what I do. Like, no matter what's happening in the world, like, if there's a nuclear bomb that went off right now, I'm going to be like, okay, well, what do I need to do? I'm not going to say, oh, why did that happen? I'm going to say, what do I need to do? What can I focus on right now? that's going to be positive, right? And I know that no matter what happens around me, I don't have control of that. I can only control what I can control, and that's going to be my mindset, right? That's on me. No one can do that for me. Like, my wife can't, can't do that for me. She can't wake me up and say, hey, I need you to wake up today at 4 o'clock in the morning for the next 90 days and make sure that you're doing everything you need to do. No, I need to do that. It's my, my responsibility, right? So I had to take self-responsibility for everything. Good or bad, it's on me. That's part of running a business. And that's why a lot of people are gonna get screwed over the next you know, foreseeable future because they're not gonna take self-responsibility. They're gonna find ways out. And again, it's gonna leave, that's gonna leave more food on the table for people like me that are in your area, All right? The next thing that creators do is they innovate. They, they look at what's happening, they're like, okay, hmm. I can go online now and still service my clients, which is the thing I'm showing our coach and our mastermind how to do right now. That's going to be my priority until this, all this passes is to show coaches exactly how to do that step by step. Right. And the cool thing is coaches that have taken action on that in the past are already doing that. They're doing online consulting with players worldwide. They're doing online mentoring. They're creating online digital products. Uh, they're, they're doing all this other stuff online. Like there's coaches who've written books that are still selling right now during this time. Uh, they're going to be able to maximize book sales, especially during this time, because a lot of kids don't have anywhere to go. They're going to be stuck inside. Right? So we want to innovate and not just be like, all right, well, let's just try to write it out and, and cancel all of our memberships for the next several months. No, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to write it out and we're going to innovate. We're going to, we have to think differently about the future. And that way, guess what? When something like this happens again, because it probably will, right? It probably will in my lifetime. Then we're even more prepared for something like that. And then that way, when that happens, everyone's going to be like, okay, good. Like we've already, we've already gone through the coronavirus. Now we're on to the next thing and fine. Like we're good because we have all this stuff set up. All right. That's how I think. Okay, and lastly here, coaches in the training industry that, that have a business that are going to succeed here, they have long-term vision. They know that like this is just going to be part of the game, and it's a mental test, and those who think long-term will win, as opposed to those who think short-term. If you think short-term, promise you, you're going to be done quicker than you know, and that could be in the next couple of days, right? And... I'm not on here scaring anyone. I'm telling you the truth. Like, if you don't, if you don't think what, what I'm talking about is real, like, again, you can go, go look up and, and see what's happening to restaurants right now. And this is on Monday. Uh, I'm looking at the date, March 16th. All right, we're on the 16th. This is very early on in the coronavirus stuff, All right? And as things ramp up on the media, as things ramp up, um, in the world with you know with this getting crazier there's going to be two things you can do you can either complain or you can create and whichever rabbit hole you decide to go down just know that when you choose one you're going to be stuck there so if you go to into create mode you're going to be stuck there which is good if you go into complain mode you're stuck there your business is going to die and i can't, i can't say this lightly other than you know I, I feel sorry for those who are going to be complaining during this time, but at the end of the day, I'm going to be sitting back and I'm going to laugh about it because I'm going to know that there's going to be more opportunity for me. There's going to be more kids I can help in my area. From, from a dark situation like this, I'm going to look at the positives. All right. So if you have any questions, if you're like, man, like, I need to make a change here. I, I, 
I recognize that there's this things going on. I don't want my business to die. I want to evolve. And you and you're the type of person you're optimistic and you're positive. Reach out to me. Send me a text and text me at 210-960-5771. Now here's the thing. A lot of coaches recently have texted and they'll just be like, "Hey, like how do I make more money?" And it's like, "Don't text me stuff like that. Like text me your name, where you live, what you what you do, and let's have a normal conversation." Like, don't, don't just text me like a robot, right? I'm not a robot, normal dude. All right, we're helping a lot of people. My responsibility right now is helping the coaches in our mastermind program, that's it. And I'm gonna be creating more content here on YouTube, you know, as things happen with, with, this, with this virus, as things get worse with this, right? Hopefully they get better, but I think things are gonna get worse for a little while. Um, but if you have any questions, shoot me a text. And I will tell you, if anyone in the future who sees this video and, and says, hey, I'm going through a really hard time with my business, I don't know what to do, trust me, I'm gonna send you back to this video. Because it's clear how you can make two choices here. And which choice you make is up to you. So uh, for those who are in create mode, guys, I'm really excited for you. Uh, I think this is gonna be an, an opportune time for you to make a real difference in your area and step up and be the leader that kids need you to be um, and your clients want you to be. Um, and so, you know, it's gonna be tough, but trust me, I gotta go through it too. Everybody has to face what we're about to face. Um, so that's it guys. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me a text. If you are uh, new to our YouTube channel, it's the first video you've seen, click the subscribe button. There's a lot of new videos that I'm going to be posting that are going to be about what to do during this time. Um, but I had to set the foundation first with this video. This is the foundation of what I'm going to be talking about um, until this is finished. So that's it, guys. I'll see you later.